Hey crafters, I got a really neat one for you today. We're gonna make some work tents. <laughs> so uh, these are super easy, super fun to make. So let's go to the table and let's make some uh, domiciles for your little orkies. Hey guys, let's make some work tents. Okay, so I've got some 3x3 three three just regular pieces of corrugated cardboard. Uh, and I've got six of them here. All right. So now what, I'm, what I want to do is I'm going to use these uh, for the skeleton of the tent. I'm going to measure a half an inch in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a curve on that. I'm not going to draw it or anything. I'll just cut it. So I'm going to do a curve up to the middle. And so the outside will be a little bit shorter, half inch shorter than the uh, center. Now I did this pie chart. I just printed this off the internet. It doesn't have to be the exact same size. I'm just using this as kind of a guide to assemble these pieces. So there we go. I got my pieces and I can uh, put them together like this. Now I'm going to hot glue them, but I want to be careful. I don't want to hot glue all the way to the bottom because I don't want to glue it to the sheet. So there I'll get those two pieces together. Let that set up for a sec. You can see how the, the top is taller than the outside uh, parts of the uh, cardboard. So now I'm going to start adding the other pieces. And the same way, I don't want to glue all the way to the bottom because I don't want it to glue to the sheet. This is just the guide. So this is just giving me um, a template so I can put these uh, pieces together uh, the same every time. Okay, so just add the other side there and uh, make sure it's all lined up on the lines. And add the next piece. And so just keep adding the pieces until we get the shape. And uh, there we go, we'll add our last piece. There we go, let this uh, harden up for a second, and then we can start working on the rest of the tent. So there's our skeleton, it's all together, all ready to go, the skeleton for the tent. Now I'm going to reinforce the centers a bit, uh, since I've got it uh, uh, dried up a bit or hardened up a bit, I'll just uh, go in the center there, that'll harden that up. It's perfectly lined up and ready to go. So now I'm ready for the next step, and I'm going to use my white glue, and just full strength, just put it on the edges there the edges of the cardboard and uh, I've got a uh, piece, or, uh, paper towel that I've wet uh, it's not soaking it's just damp and I'm gonna shape it around the skeleton of the tent and now I'll just start adding watered down white glue about 50 50 white glue uh, 50 water 50 white glue and just uh, I'll add another piece there so to make it uh, give it some extra strength and just put it over uh, make sure it's uh, laying up uh, nicely how I want it. Just tuck it in a bit uh, so it looks like the tent is um, going to the ground. And there we go. Got some nice uh, looking, uh, look, nice looking start of a tent there. So now I'll just add some more uh, white glue to this and that'll uh, harden up and make a nice tent. So now it's all dried up and you can see you've got a nice shell on that. And we have the entrance to the tent still open but we have these excess, they have this excess on the edge. So I'll just take my scissors and just very easily just simply just cut that off and uh, so there we go we got a nice uh, starting to get a nice uh, shape uh, hexagonal shaped tent there alright so just get trim all that excess go around the whole thing and uh, there we go so we got a nice tent okay now let's add some more details uh, first I want to add a bottom to this tent so I'm just going to use a piece of thin cardboard and each tent will be a little bit different. So you want to do this with each individual tent. So I'm just going to measure around with a Sharpie. And this will give me the exact shape of the bottom of the tent. And I'm going a little bit, go in a little bit for the door. And I just marked it where the door was. So now I'll just cut, simply cut this out with scissors. And uh, yeah, you'll want to do this for every tent. Because every tent is going to be the same, obviously, because you're draping it a little differently for every tent. Okay, so I'll get that all cut out. And uh, now we're ready to go. So now it's just a simple matter of attaching this uh, to the base. I'm going to cut a little bit out from the doorway there, just a little extra. Uh, there we go. And now I'll just attach that to the base. I'm going to use my hot glue gun and just go around the edge of that. And uh, there we go. Just glue that on. Let that harden up for a second. 
there we go. Nice. Nice solid tint. Okay. Now I want to add another detail to make this really cool, really look at, make it look orky. I'm going to use this uh, punch and just punch in where the corrugation is at the very corners of the tent. Okay, So I'm just poking that in. It's going right into the corrugation of the cardboard, poking right through the uh, paper towels, the glue-soaked paper towels. And now in the center I want to have a cluster, so I'm going to do three of these. I'll do three punches uh, into the center uh, on the uh, cardboard pieces. Okay, so there we go, got that, and uh, there we go, we're all set, now ready for the next step. Okay, now I'm simply going to use a plastic fork, okay, and I'm going to use a paper towel so I don't hurt myself when I break these. I'm just going to start breaking the, the tongs off um, of the fork, and I'll just go through and just break them all, and uh, you want to get a pack of forks or, you know, get them from somebody. And uh, there we go, they got a nice curved kind of almost a rib looking shape. So I'm going to use a, a small glue gun and glue uh, those fork tongs in to the, the tent itself. And it looks like, it really looks like kind of like ribs or bone, I think, or uh, tusks sticking out of the top of the tent. I think it really gives it a nice uh, detail that just the plain tent doesn't have itself. So we'll have those three in the center. A uh, nice little grouping. Uh, looks like it's holding up the center of the tent. Okay, so there we go. Let that uh, harden up a sec. Now what I want to do is I want to reinforce these a bit. So I'm going to go around um, with a little bit of glue and then just pull out, uh, after that sets for a second, just pull out with the glue gun. And that'll give it a nice, uh, make sure they're nice and solid into the tent. And also kind of blend it into the tent itself as, as opposed to just sticking out. So. That's a nice little detail you can do, and super easy with the glue gun. Just go around and just pull it out uh, from the glue that you've put on the uh, spike. And uh, looking good, looking good. So I'll just uh, go around and finish these up. And uh, great. Okay, so we're finishing this up. So we will uh, we'll, uh, finish this tent up uh, next time when, we, uh, when you meet me again. Hey crafters, great to have you with me. I hope you learned something here today. Also, uh, make sure to uh, give your Scotty a like if you did like the video. Also, join my Facebook and forum group. Wonderful group of people. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see all the uh, content that comes out. And I also hope you'll consider um, becoming a patron. I have just joined uh, Patreon and I'll have a link in the uh, below the video. Uh, you can donate a certain amount per video. Um, and that I produce and it really goes to help me buy new equipment to produce even better videos and show you even cooler stuff. So until next time, go forth and craft. Uh, what's that behind me? Uh, orcs, bring it down, bring it all down.